Okay, so here's part two. What I want to do is just go ahead and open up that book. And you'll notice down here on the bottom left-hand side, there's the, um, there's the model. I want to maximize that page. Um, so right from the get-go here, you'll see that the model is actually spinning around. So there's a setting that I put inside of iBooks um, from the Mac publisher that lets it do that. So you can either do that or not do that. That's up to you. Um, so let me go ahead and, and just maximize this, um, this model here and, and stop it from spinning. So first thing I want you to notice is that um, I've set this model so you can freely rotate it in space, right? which lets you do just these type of crazy things. Um, there's also a setting that lets you um, force it into rotating only horizontal, which is that, or rotating vertically, which is that here, right? So different uses depending on um, what you want uh, the, the person that's actually viewing this model to see. Um, but, uh, but it's nice to actually have the option to select either or. Um, it's also actually very simple to publish um, from SketchUp to iBooks to the iPad. It took all about five uh, minutes to actually do this, so it's actually very simple, um, a very simple thing to do. So I hope you enjoyed this, um, this quick uh, demo of, of how to move models from SketchUp into iBooks. Thanks.